The brain can put out pulses up to seven hours after the heart stops. We are electricity, aren't we? I have a super, super fun video for you today. So please watch it all the way through and thanks for spending time with me. Now, a couple days ago, I heard on the radio some really fun facts about the brain. They said, get this, the brain can send out impulses seven hours after being pronounced dead. This amazed me. So I did some research about the magnificent brain. So let's get going with some of this. After death, you're aware that you've died, say scientists. <laughs> I know. Your subjective experience might not end the moment your heart stops. Now, research on near-death experiences suggests this. So time of death is considered when a person has gone into cardiac arrest, which is the cessation of the electrical impulse that drives the heartbeat. Boom, 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 boom. As a result, the heart locks up. This moment when the heart stops is considered by medical professionals to be the clearest indication that someone has died. But what happens inside our mind during this process? Have you ever wondered about that? Does death immediately overtake our subjective experience here in the mind, or does it slowly creep in? Some scientists are beginning to think that near-death experiences are caused by reduced blood flow coupled with abnormal electrical behavior inside the brain. So the stereotypical tunnel of white light might derive from a surge in mental activity. Even after our breathing and heartbeat stop, we remain conscious for about 2 to 20 seconds. Uh-huh, that's kind of a long time, really. It's also responsible for deciphering the information gathered from our senses, touching, things like that. You lose all your brain stem reflexes. Your gag reflex, your pupil reflex, all of that is gone. Brain waves from the cerebral cortex soon become undetectable. Even so, it can take hours for our thinking organ to fully shut down. This amazed me. Neuroscientists are studying the human mind and consciousness in the context of death to understand whether consciousness becomes annihilated or whether it continues after you've died for some period of time and how that relates to what's happening inside the brain in real time. Wow. I mean, death isn't something that we want to think about all the time, and some of you might not even want to talk about it, but I find the brain fascinating. You know, I could sit and talk about, oh, I do have a new fan here, I'll show you at some point, but you know, the nomad life is a lot of fun. I mean, it's my life. And a lot of us live it, and but you live in a house too. But you don't always want to talk about living in a house. These are things I love to talk about, and I love to do research on it. I've often wondered, do does the brain shut down immediately at death, right? Now, I've often wondered, I did have a very close friend. She was an older lady, and, you know, she went through the morphine. She was dying, and what they do is they give them morphine, and they, they assume that they're not thinking. They assume that they don't know what's going on. I differ. I, they just can't move around because they're starting to starve. They're not drinking and they're starving, right? And when you get, when you're going to be dying and they give you the morphine to relax you, um, I, I do believe they know exactly what's going on all around them. Well, I did, I'm glad that I did the research on that. Up to seven hours. <laughs> I will talk about that later. Fun facts about the brain. On the radio, I did hear that a brain can put out pulses up to seven hours after the heart stops. We are electricity, aren't we? I've mentioned that many times. We have electrical impulses. And when I talk in just so don't go away because I've got some really fun brain facts. I mean, this is our brain, right? This is our computer. And it is made up of billions of electrical impulses. 
So I want to get started with that. And I did want to mention that it's amazing. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It is just amazing. So let's get started with that. One aspect of the studies that one scientist did, he was a neuroscientist, and he had a patient that had a lot of seizures. So he had him hooked up to all the nodes, you know, hooked up all over his body, all over his brain, so they could get the impulses of what's going on inside the brain when, when an actual seizure happened. Well, what really did happen, this is the first time this has ever happened, that they actually recorded a death. He had a seizure and he went into cardiac arrest. Okay, but they still had the nodes while they were trying to resuscitate him. They still had the nodes on. They got to get pictures of what happened to the brain when it died, when his heart stopped um, pumping. Uh, they found fascinating information from that. Now, these fun facts are going to be fun. <laughs> it's fun to have fun, isn't it? They're last updated September 21st, 2022, and they were edited and medically reviewed by Patrick Albin, D.C., and written by Dean Albin. So, this is really up-to-date stuff. Now, the typical brain comprises about 2% of the body's total weight, but uses 20% of its total energy and oxygen intake. Yeah. Your brain is 73% water. It takes only 2% dehydration to affect your attention, memory, and other cognitive skills. So drink your water. 90 minutes of sweating can temporarily shrink the brain as much as one year of aging. Ouch. The brain weighs about three pounds. 60% of the dry weight is fat making the brain the most fatty organ in the body. Please, everybody, be eating your fat. You need it. 25% of the body's cholesterol resides within the brain. Cholesterol is an integral part of every brain cell. Get your cholesterol, everyone. Without adequate cholesterol, brain cells die. Oh, no. <laughs> no one knows for sure, but the latest estimate is that the brain contains roughly 86 billion brain cells. Whoa. Each neuron can transmit 1,000 nerve impulses per second and make as many as tens of thousands of synaptic contacts with other neurons. A piece of the brain tissue the size of a grain of sand contains 100,000 neurons and 1 billion synapses, all communicating with each other. Wow. All brain cells are not alike. There are as many as 10,000 specific types of neurons in the brain. Your brain needs a consistent supply of oxygen constantly. As little as five minutes without oxygen can cause some brain cells to die, leading to severe brain damage. Now, as any parent can attest, teenage brains are not fully formed. It isn't until about the age of 25 that the human brain reaches full maturity. Mm -hmm. Think you're in control of your life? And don't be so sure. 95% of your decisions take place in your subconscious mind. Think about that one. Brain information travels up to 268 miles per hour. <laughs> the brain generates about 20 watts of electricity. Now, this is enough to power a 10 watt light bulb. Oh, it's starting to rain inside of my van. The average brain generates 48.6 thoughts per minute. This adds up to a total of 70,000 thoughts per day. Every minute, 750 to 1,000 milliliters of blood flows through the brain. This is enough to fill a bottle of wine or liter bottle of soda. Your brain can process an image that your eyes have seen for as little as 13 milliseconds, less time than it takes for you to blink. Yeah. 
The modern diet is low in omega-3 essential fatty acids. This is the modern diet. Low levels of omega-3s result in brain shrinkage, equivalent to two years of structural brain aging. Eat your fish. Since the late 1800s, the average IQ has gone down 1.6 points per decade for a total of 13.35 points. Ouch. The brain can't learn or concentrate on two things at once. No multitasking anymore. What it can do is quickly toggle back and forth between tasks. But doing so decreases your attention span, ability to learn, short-term memory, and overall mental performance. This is scientific now. You cannot multitask properly. Brain cells will cannibalize themselves as a last-ditch source of energy to ward off starvation. So in very real ways, dieting, especially low-fat diets, can force your brain to literally eat itself. Not good. Just not good. Over 140 proteins in the brain are negatively impacted by exposure to electromagnetic frequencies, the kind emitted by your cell phone and other electronic devices. Here's one. Relying on GPS to navigate destroys your innate sense of direction, a skill that took our ancestors thousands of years to develop. When areas of the brain involved in navigation are no longer used, those neuron connections fade away via a process known as synaptic pruning. Yep, Google Maps. (laughs) I use it all the time. There's no evidence that human attention spans are shrinking. The popular myth that we use only 10% of our brains is flat out wrong. They have new research. Brain scans clearly show that we use most of our brain most of the time, even when we're sleeping. Maybe even especially when we're sleeping. There is no such thing as a left brain or right brain personality skill type. No. I always, I learned that, but it's not true. We are not left brained or right brained. We are all whole brained. Whole brained. It's often said that there are 10,000 miles of blood vessels in the brain. Well, in fact, that number is closer to 400 miles, still a substantial amount. Until recently, it was a fact that you were born with a set level of intelligence and a number of brain cells that could never be changed. But it has since been discovered that our brains have the capacity to change throughout our lifetimes due to a property known as brain plasticity. (laughs) The brain can continue to form new brain cells via a process known as neurogenesis. Remember that word or not. If you were, no, alcohol, if you were drinking alcohol and don't remember what you did last weekend, it's not because you forgot. Oh no, research now says that while you are drunk, your brain is incapable of forming memories. (laughs) That's a pretty good one, right? It's generally believed that people with exceptional memories are born that way, but this is rarely the case. Most memory masters will tell you that having an outstanding memory is a skill that they developed by employing the best memory techniques. There's a lot of techniques out there. There's a lot of techniques we can learn. Human brain tissue is not dense. This is kind of gross and weird. It is very fragile, soft and squishy, similar to the consistency of soft tofu or gelatin. Now, the reason that scientists can hold a brain in their hands is because they put in, after they take it out of a dead uh, cadaver, they put it in a special fluid and it hardens it. So that's why people, when you see them, they're holding the brain. The brain produces a half cup of fluid every day. Drink your water, everybody. It floats in this bath of cerebrospinal fluid, which acts as a shock absorber to keep the brain from being crushed by its own weight. Now, although pain is processed in the brain, it has no pain receptors and feels, it feels no pain in the brain. 
This explains how brain surgery can be performed while the patient is awake with no pain or discomfort. So headache pain feels like it starts in the brain, but in fact is caused by sensations from nearby skin joints, sinuses, blood vessels, and muscles. There you go. There are some fun facts. There's a lot more fun facts, but I didn't want to overwhelm you with so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I love learning new things. How about you? So if you also love learning new things and investigating just everyday things that are just so um, important and interesting, you're at the right place, okay? Now I'm out in the forest again. It is raining again. It sure is. So it's an inside even though I'm out in the forest. That's okay. Thanks for spending time with me today and watching it all the way through. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And go to minivanlee.com for, I've got um, very 60s, don't you think? Yeah, <laughs> very 60s. I love fashion and I love um, accessories. So these are still up for grabs, everybody, if you want them. They're fun to wear every once in a while. They're very lightweight. They're just, it's sort of a, a sort of a real lightweight rope material it's yeah they're just yeah and let's see what else i've got net gators <laughs> yes and i've got um really cool jewelry do you want to see a couple pieces here's one this was mine my daughter sent it to me <laughs> let's put it on This would look really good with a black sweater. And if you had like a black shirt and then you had like a cardigan sweater. It's just light metal. It's costume jewelry. This is not silver. But I love it. I love this. And if nobody wants it, I'll wear it. I'll wear it again. I'll wear it at some point. So if you learned anything from the fun facts, you must drink water to keep your brain, keep all of your organs um, in proper working order. And especially in the morning, you want to drink a good amount of water. You want to drink maybe even this much water. This is like, I think, a 32 ounce. Because what it does is it... it gets your liver moving and it gets all the toxins out of your body that it worked on all night long, right? And your kidneys. You also want to eat fat. I think they've really proven it and they're getting to the point where this low fat diet that they did for like the past 10 years, not so good, not so good for the brain. You need fat, you need good fat. And you need cholesterol. I mean, you want to go with the good cholesterol. I think they're getting to the point where they say good. I'm, I'm not an expert on this, but I don't worry about cholesterol. I really don't. Um, I've never had high cholesterol with the bad cholesterol, and I'm not even sure the bad and good. I really encourage you to find out what the new science is. Drink your water, get your fats. Get the cholesterol going in your brain. And you really do need a lot of sleep. So much is going on in your brain while you're sleeping. Um, you're, you're putting all the things that you dealt with all day long, you're filing them away properly so that you can move on to another day. So, till tomorrow, everybody. Love you. Bye.